Hi guys, and welcome back to Reed's Readers with your host, Clinton Reed Britton. And I just got through talking about the books that make me cry. So why not we do the books that make me happy? Now, I have seven recommendations of Mel Mel romances that when I, when they are brought up, I just start smiling. And no, there's no TJ Kuhn on this list. And no Red, White, and Royal Blue. And no Heartstopper. These are adult Mel Mel romances. I didn't want to mention Red, White, and Royal Blue or Heartstopper in any of these videos. And TJ Klune, I wanted to give more to the ugly cry. But these are books that I feel like need to be recognized and talked about. These are all four to five star, four to six stars, really, of books that generally make me happy. These couples, these thoughts of these couples every time these books are brought up, I just go, aww, and I just smile. And these are the books that I would reread just to feel good. If that makes sense. So let's just get into these. Um, book one I have is Boyfriend Goals by Riley Hart. <clears throat> Boyfriend Goals follows Milo and Gideon. Milo has is very unique and quirky. I want to say he's somewhere on like an autistic spectrum, but it's never talked about. Well, he inherits a bookstore and apartment from a grandmother he never knew he had. So he has to go. He quits his job and just goes because he says he's not living. He wants to try to live. Now, the building he owns also leases out part of the building to Gideon, who is a tattoo artist, who lives in the small apartment above, who allows Milo to move in with him so that he can understand and learn about his grandmother and how the two go from being best friends to more than that. Now I just have to figure out how to convince him that maybe it's time for an upgrade from bestie to boyfriend goals. And this book just generally makes me swoon and happy and getting in is just everything. Next is a book that I don't think gets enough recognition for what it did. And I have to, if I'm going to talk about books that make me just generally happy, I have to talk about Never Been Kissed by Timothy Janowski. Thank queer to all the boys I loved before. <coughs> this follows Ren, who had typed up emails of his first almost kisses and in a drunken stupor accidentally sends them out and one returns from the one that he least expected and that is Derek now Rin is returning home from college for the summer to work at the outdoor movie theater is that what they're called Duckman. He works at a drive-in movie theater and is going to be the manager where Derek has just been hired to do the social media. And it's a story of them coming together as friends to lovers to almost to nows and also to help save a female director as well. A lot happens in this, more than what it says on the back. 
and their goal for the summer is to save the drive-in theater. <clears throat> Next, I give you Featherbed by Annabeth Albert, one of the cutest, shortest books I have ever loved. This follows Harrison Philip Fletcher III, who moves to Burlington, Vermont, to open up Vino and Veritas, which is a wine and bookstore. And then enters Finn Barnes. After, well, before Finn shows up, Harrison is delivered a shipment of chickens on accident. So enters Finn Barnes, the local chicken farmer. And it is a story of love between the two of them. And that is all I'm going to say. And this is book one in the Vino and Veritas series, where every book in this series is written by a different author. And I haven't continued like I should. And I plan on doing that. I just would like to reread Featherbed now and continue on which I might be doing soon to introduce myself to new authors that are potential authors for bah. So, yes. Next, this list would not be perfect without Ride the Wreck with Mr. Diaz on the cover. <sighs> this is book two in the Stonewall Investigations Blue Creek series, which I absolutely love all the Stonewall Investigations books, you will be getting a video dedicated to the Stonewall Investigations universe coming this month. But this one in particular follows Elijah and Ryan. Elijah is a drag queen who has a stalker and enters Ryan Diaz, private investigator for Stonewall Investigations, to help solve who that's who the stalker is. And things ensue. All I know is I would die on any hill for Ryan Diaz. Ryan Diaz is probably my favorite book boyfriend of the year. I have had many a dream thinking of him. I feel like I just want to reread this just so I can read more Ryan Diaz. And this book just makes me generally happy. Yeah. That's said. Next is book two in the Love and O'Leary series, which you saw book one in a previous video. This is The Gift by May Archer. This follows Daniel and Julian. Julian is the local veterinarian in O'Leary. And Daniel is the new recluse that lives in the woods. Who, before Julian, thought he was straight. And all I'm going to say is this has some of the most tender most romantic like vibes in certain scenes that I cannot I will die on any hill for Daniel Daniel needs all the love and acceptance he needs more love everyone needs to check out this series and Daniel just needs oh just oh what are these men on these covers oh listen Next is uh, book five in the fake boyfriend series. That is Hat Trick with Thorn and Jet. I can't tell you much about this because it's book five, but Thorn and Jet. It is Thorn is a hockey player. There's a Jet is a rock star. So you've got rock star. And hockey player, you have thick dating. You have one night stands. You have age gap because there's ten year age gap. So yes, there is some daddy playing here. There's a lot in here, and just know, Soren and Jet 
my heart just goes out to them and I just want to love them forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And my identity on this channel is the Fake Boyfriend series. If you didn't know that, you know that now. And then the last book, where the book just makes me smile and swoon. I only gave it a four star, but I will be reading more from this author in the future because this author has the potential to probably have some of my all-time favorite books. But I have to give it to Football Sunday by Daryl Banner. Because this book is just one of the cheesiest, cutest rom-coms I think I've ever read. And this follows Tanner and Billy. Tanner is a hunky college football star who returns to his hometown of Spruce in Texas, where he runs into Billy, the budding dessert chef. <laughs> we just read the back because it's so cheesy. You'll understand. Football never tasted this sweet. Tanner, the hunky college football star, is home for the summer. Billy, the budding dessert chef, is about to have his hot fudge glazed world flips upside down. Get ready for the sweetest romance you've ever tasted. And Football Sunday, when we got to the scene of what a football Sunday is, I'm hungry. It involves ice cream, ice cream ingredients, and sex. That's all I'm gonna say. So those are seven Mel Mel romances that have made me generally happy when thinking about them. You could also add Red, White, and Royal Blue and Boyfriend Material to this list, but I wanted to talk about some lesser known ones. So comment down below and let me know what is one Mel Mel romance, whether adult or YA, that generally just makes you happy. That you think, I need to read that I haven't read. Um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe. Also comment down below if I either A, convince you to read any of these, if you've read any of these, or if you plan on checking out any of these. Let me know all that down below. And remember, kids, always be fabulously yourself, boy.